go through how to get the um, this box built. So your pieces at this point should be easy to deal with. They're, they're not going to be super soft anymore. If you did not cut out pieces, then let me know and we'll get those cut out. So these pieces, if you want to, you can kind of tap these down a little bit and make them nice and flat and even, but they're going to, they're going to move and the shape's going to change because you're going to be handling them. Understand that anyway. So we can, there are ways at the end that we can straighten up the box. So the first thing you're going to do is pick out a couple pieces and you don't want to build this like this. Okay. You want to do it so that your sides go up connecting one at a time. Don't do them across from each other. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to slip and score this side here. And if there's been any project, we've, we've always slipped and scored, but if there, this is probably the most important one to make sure you slip and score because of these walls. So I'm going to take a little water, water here. And then when I put this on here, I'm going to leave the bottom just slightly hang over. You see how the bottom sticks out a little bit further? Okay. And then I'm going to take either my rib tool, which is this, or this flat tool here, okay? And I'm gonna pull this up. See how I'm doing that in the back? See how I'm pulling this up to clear that line. Mm -hmm. Now, the less you have hanging over, the easier it'll be to get rid of that, that bump across there. Okay, so once you have that, try to keep that standing up nice. If this was real soft, like fresh cut, it would, it would be droopy. It, would, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be as easy as this. So then I'm going to take my next piece and I'm going to put this here. Now, obviously, what's the issue? It's, it's too long. It's too up. long. So we're going to take, very good. <clears throat> so we're going to take a mark and I'm just going to kind of mark this here. And then I'm just going to eyeball this. There's no reason. You can use a ruler if you want, but the sh like I said, the shape of this is going to change as you go. You just want to get it pretty close. And so you've got... A piece that fits on there like that okay mm -hmm. so now I'm gonna do my the difference this time is you always want to slip and score wherever it touches so I'm gonna do the wall up on the sides too and, and remember the scoring just little X's you're, you're making think of like velcro you know like um, you know the the two pieces kind of grab at each other and help it pull together so I'm gonna I'm gonna score both parts Water. water here and here, a little bit of water here. Now this time I'm going to I'm going to make this wall stick out a little bit further, and the bottom part. So the wall is over a little bit, and the bottom hangs over a little bit. Do you all see what I'm saying there? Okay, and that gives me that gives me part of this to blend. So I'm going to take this. And notice when I blend it in, I put my hand inside because I, if I just push on this, it's going to just fall. So I'm going to put my hand in here and that's going to help support this. Okay, and then the top piece, you can blend that. And then down here, I'm going to, I'm pushing out as I pull up. Okay, as I pull up, I'm pushing so out. So you don't have any line there. To see and see how you can use this. See how that makes a nice crisp corner there, like, that. right? So same thing here. Measure. Little mark. Has anybody ever built a slab box before from here? No. You have before? Middle school? Elementary, Elementary school? Third grade. That's, wow, that's pretty, pretty big assignment for third grade. I, that's impressive. Was it in Akron? Yeah. Which school? Yeah, Okay. Box just like this? Yeah. Nice. Who was the teacher? Do you remember? No. You don't remember her name? His name? Her name? Slide this on, turn it so you can see real good. 
And remember, I'm going to put that over. Okay. Now these three sides are all done pretty much the same way. Well, the two the two side pieces. Now the last piece you got to do a little different. <coughs> The last piece is a little bit different. So you got this kind of open space and this, how are you going to put this in here? So what you have to do is kind of lay this down here, okay? Kind of lay it down to where you can see how much would fit in. You see what I'm saying? Okay, does that make sense? So I'm going to lay that down there. I'm just going to cut it. Don't do it too small. A little bit bigger is a little bit better for this because it'll squeeze in there tight. So we're, that's perfect. We're, that's gonna see how that's gonna slide right down in there like that. Okay. Now this time I'm gonna score all three walls, all three sides. What did you guys think about the ceramics that the people in the Ed Puzzle did? Did you like that stuff? I did not understand how it did. No. It was so nice stuff. I didn't like it. Why not? The clay looked different. Looked different? A lot yeah. of textural stuff, too. Yeah. Like, she likes, like, textile type mm -hmm. things, so. Different, but nice shop, you know? Mm -hmm. Pretty impressive setup. So I'm, I'm going to score all three. I'm going to slide that in, and once again... I'm gonna push this on here really tight. I'm gonna leave a little bit of overhang. Okay, see like that? And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna blend the top first. And then I'm gonna just pull this. My whole hand is down in there, keeping it steady to get rid of that line. If you put it in too far, you'll have it like a, it'll be real deep. You don't want it to be like set real deep. All right, see how that looks there? Now, your box will look pretty good. Now, you, this is where this tool comes in real handy. You can kind of push down in and go around your corners and just clean everything up. Now, one thing that might happen is you might kind of be a little lumpy and bumpy in certain areas. Like, you see the bottom here, how this kind of, you see that, you can probably see it best. See how that comes out a little bit at the bottom? It like comes out to the side. You could take a tool like a loop tool and just kind of shave a little bit of that off just to even it up. I don't think this is going to be life or death for anyone to see a little bit of, of a flare at the bottom. Because remember, you're going to add your things to the outside. You you have to make this have a theme, right? Now, a lot of people just take a pencil and carve things in. Your grade's not going to be that great if you do that. You're going to want to add and sculpt things and attach them. Some things can be carved in with the with the sharp tip. Okay, um, tiny little things are hard to do, really hard to do. So keep that in mind as you're making this. If you get your your sketch and you're like, ooh, that's that's a little bit you know tiny so maybe change you, know, you might have to change as you go so if it changes as you go that's okay all right now for your lid you want to work on your handle on top you know we have the lid with the handle you probably want to do that last but one of the things that we have to make sure of is that our lid stays on our box so this is not going to stay on my box okay so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take this probably flip it over take the tool Take a cutting tool and just kind of even out if I have a weird size anywhere or anything of the sorts. I'm just going to kind of kind of cut that and even it up a little bit, right? Just so it, it sits nice. Now, how am I going to get this to stay? I'll show you. I'll show you the easiest way. This is the easiest way to get your lid to stay, and I didn't mean for that to rhyme, I swear. Can I have a small rolling pin? One little ones, yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna roll this down. Okay. I don't need this to be super thick, 
but I also don't want it to be really, really tiny. So about the thickness of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a piece that attaches to this, okay, that's going to sit down in there and lock that into place. They call it a key. Anytime that your, that your box attaches, I know it sounds weird, but it's like a key and a lock, okay, it goes into place. So what I'm going to do is take my, take my cutting tool and I'm just going to, it doesn't have to be perfect. The one thing you have to remember that is important is that what happens to the clay as it dries? We've talked about this before. It shrinks. It shrinks, right. 5%, good. So we don't want this to sit super snug and tight because when it dries, it won't fit. Also, when you are done with these, you never want to put your lid on it while it dries because again, it could shrink and stick inside there. So this, see how that fits in there? Okay, looks pretty good. If it was a little bit too small, I could always just kind of pat it down. And when I pat it down, it's going to spread out a little bit. So I'm going to take that and I am going to slip and score this onto here like that. See that? Now I'm not going to do it right now because I want to show you a different way to do the lid too. But this was sitting here and then your lid stays on real tight. You get that? It's the easiest way to do it. Okay. Now, if you want to be creative, okay, more creative, let's say, because there's nothing wrong with doing it this way. Most of you will do it this way. You can do this a little bit differently. You can take this lid and you can score the top of this. We want to do it pretty good. I'm going a little bit. And you want to score this. Yeah, how much time I got left on there? Should sit, it's like a countdown. It should be. Um, it doesn't have one. No? Uh-uh. Okay, it must still be good then. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to actually attach this lid to this box. So I'm going to take this, put this on top, okay? And I'm going to attach the lid to the box. Why would I attach the lid to the box? What could I possibly be thinking? Right? Okay, now don't. You can't stick your hand back in there, so you gotta do this kind of gentle. Okay, so now what I can do, first I'm gonna is going to kind of even it out a little bit and don't worry about the little red bits of clay on there it's not a big deal then you're going to take your 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 drawing tool and you can do some sort of design on here I'm going to take this cutting tool, and it's really the only cutting tool that works, and I'm going to cut this out. Now, try to keep the blade straight, straight this way and not at an angle. Because if you do it at an angle, you have to make more adjustments than you're already going to have to make, and you will have to make some adjustments. You can saw at it a little bit, sawing at it, you know what I mean? You gotta kinda move it a little bit. So once this is up, then you have this. Then you just squeeze this off a little bit because we don't want it to be super tight because of the shrinkage. And we're not gonna we're not gonna put this on here when it dries anyway. Clean up all your little bits and pieces that are sticking out. Okay. You can do this spiky or whatever you want to do. And then you can just have your lid that locks into place like that. Okay, that's another way that you can do it. The other way to do it is to cut out like a notch here, take that notch and slip and score it to this, this side, and then it would just set in too. Do you get what I'm saying? Like they cut out a square here, square here, slip and score that here, that here, then it would sit in. Okay, so there's really three ways this way. 
the, the easy way with this and then just cutting out a piece and attaching that piece to the top. That makes sense to everybody? Yes. Okay. So did I put that on the right way? I did, didn't I? Yeah. So a little bit of like, a little bit of separation is not the end of the world because remember, this is gonna, this is gonna shrink and stuff anyway. Actually, I think that's, yeah, there we go. That's why that looked weird. Now it looks good. And then you will have to make some little adjustments and clean it up. But, but this way is a nice way to do it too because you can get a pretty nice design in there. Okay. Any questions about the building of the box? Now, this assignment will be activated. This is a 40 pointer. What I'll grade for the 40 points, we'll go over the rubric next time we come in. Um, but it's gonna have to include your top with your handle and that theme that we talked about. Additive and subtractive, adding things, taking things away. Examples are over here on the, uh, the side here. We can look at those again the next time. Um, and, uh, and we'll go from there on Wednesday, okay? All right, so everybody go back to your table.